So, Soren Jesen Petersen, thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, Kosovo celebrates the 15th anniversary of its independence. You were here in an important uh, period of preparation for Kosovo's uh, status discussion. When you recall the time, was Kosovo ready for independence then? Yeah, I think Kosovo was ready for in uh, independence. There was still a lot of work to be done. But uh, when, uh, when we started the status process, it was out of a recognition that indeed Kosovo was ready. And uh, when I left uh, in uh, uh, early July uh, uh, 2004, uh, I left because the status process was underway. Uh, and, uh, and in my mind and in the mind of a lot of people, uh, there was no doubt at the time uh, what the outcome, what the result of the status process would be. Indeed, independence. And uh, as you say, tomorrow uh, Kosovo celebrates its 15th anniversary. So uh, congratulations, Kosovo. So, Mr. St. Peterson, you were very um, firm on what you said about the independence of Kosovo, but why was it necessary for Kosovo to have a period of three years' time for supervised independence? Does the, inter the international community, or was it a mistrust to Kosovo and Kosovars for these three years of supervised independence? Well, I mean, uh, the status process, as you know, uh, was uh, conducted uh, by uh, Mati Atisari, who of course throughout the process was in close contact with all uh, relevant uh, state uh, governments. Uh, and it was a sense that in order to get the decision uh, or his recommendation endorsed and, 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 and the decision uh, that uh, Kosovo should be uh, independent uh, there was, as always, in uh, international negotiations, and certainly uh, in ne uh, negotiations as complex as, as this one, uh, there was a need for some kind of a, I would call it, soft landing, uh, a compromise, uh, and uh, all those who supported uh, Kosovo's independence was prepared to uh, approve and agree with a uh, uh, a what you call a conditional independence for two, three years. Uh, the important thing was that it was absolutely certain and it was agreed that after those uh, two, three years, uh, and uh, there were a number of uh, uh, conditions I remember, that, but it was absolutely clear that Kosovo would be independent. But uh, um, you helped a lot. Mr. Uh, former President of Finland, Marti Atisari. Um, and then we have had this uh, comprehensive report or comprehensive plan of, uh, uh, as it has been called, Atisari plan. It was not recognized by the United Nations. It was not recognized by, by Serbia too. Why was the process of statehood not being completed completely at that time? Yeah, that's a very big question, and I think we were a lot who were surprised because I certainly remember that when we started the consultations that eventually led to uh, 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 accessory conducting the uh, status uh, process, but in all our meetings of the concept when I was there, uh, Russia, uh, uh, a member of the contact group, and uh, all along, uh, they went along, they seemed to be in agreement with the way forward, uh, but when the crunch came, uh, when the uh, Axis are recommended independence, uh, then Russia decided, and I think it came as a surprise, uh, not to endorse it. Uh, and uh, Russia then maintained that position uh, at the UN and the Security Council, uh, and with the uh, uh, non- uh, agreement or, or the veto of, of uh, Russia, unfortunately the UN as such could not endorse, uh, but still uh, the, independ uh, the uh, independence uh, was uh, agreed upon, 
uh, more than 100 countries today have endorsed the independence at the time, right at the time when the decision was made. Uh, there were already uh, many, many states who immediately endorsed the recommendation for endorsement. And then that process has continued and until today, if I'm not mistaken, more than 100 states have endorsed independence. Unfortunately, and certainly as somebody who worked for the UN, I very much regret that the UN, because of uh, Russian objections, Russian vetoes, have not been able to endorse it as such. Uh, and uh, as such, that also means uh, endorsing it and then moving forward with Kosovo's membership of the UN. But a large majority, almost two-thirds of UN member states are in full support and agreement with the independence of Kosovo. Fifteen years later, Kosovo is almost where it started. Still with the problems in the north, with unfinished statehood, and with the endless dialogue with Serbia. What went wrong? Well, I think that, first of all, I think, uh, uh, well, I'm following this from a distance, unfortunately. Uh, I have not uh, uh, been in Kosovo uh, for several years, six, seven years, but I try to follow through the media. Uh, you know very well as a representative of the media, it is not always one can completely trust, I can trust you, but there are a lot of media uh, so at times confused and a little bit misinformed. So what I'm saying is based on my impressions. My impressions is one, that Kosovo is a very young democracy, but it is a democracy. Uh, I think a lot of achievements have been made over the 15 years, uh, starting from almost scratch as a new state. Uh, but Kosovo has also been up against a lot of uh, obstacles. Uh, and uh, to begin with, constant efforts by Serbia to destabilize Kosovo. That's first. Second, Unfortunately, because of the confusion over recognition, the fact that there are still five member states of the EU who have not endorsed independence, uh, for, uh, for that reason already, the EU has not always been absolutely consistent uh, in, in its approach to Serbia. Uh, I would also say that the international uh, community because of, again, the outstanding issue of, of endorsement by some member states, uh, have not always been uh, united. My impression, and I underline again my impression, is that today Kosovo's friends are united on the way forward. Uh, the European Union, as sort of the leader in, in, the, uh, in this process, uh, EU and the US are united on the way forward, and now very recently working in tandem on the EU proposal uh, on, uh, on the way forward, uh, uh, backed by France and Germany. So looking at 15 years of destabilization from Serbia, a uh, not united international community, uh, et cetera, et cetera, I think I'm impressed that Kosovo has remained, uh, remained determined to look forward, has made a lot of steps to move forward. I understand that the people of Kosovo are impatient, do not quite understand, but as I say, 15 years of independence is a very short time. Uh, on the other hand, Kosovo is a democracy, but it's a young democracy. If I understand well, you say that European Union today, it's united, but we have still five non-recognizers. Is this hindering the completion of the statehood of Kosovo today? No, no, because those five countries may not have recognized, but they, they would not block uh, a decision uh, on, on uh, uh, full independence that is blocked by Russia and a few of uh, Russia's friends and supporters. Uh, but the EU five, are not as such in any way hindering 
the uh, 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 final recognition by the UN. If the UN could move forward on that, those five would also uh, agree. They are not hindering that. Uh, that is hindered by those with a veto in the Security Council, uh, and, and, and that is Russia. You mentioned the uh, French-German proposal. May I ask you, uh, it's little known about this, uh, this, um, this proposal, but how do you see it? Is this a good start for something uh, that would normalize the relations between Kosovo and Serbia, or this is the final agreement between them? Well, I think, first of all, it would be a very good start, too, and that should be the goal, normalizing recognition, uh, normalizing relations between Kosovo and Serbia. Secondly, if you read it, you could in many ways say it is actually a de facto recognition of independence, although I know that would be disputed uh, in Serbia. Uh, and, and, and thirdly, uh, I think that kind of agreement would also pave the way eventually for uh, the EU uh, 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 membership. That will, of course, take years, but the eventual entry into the European Union of the two countries. And here it is important, and that's why this agreement is important, that Serbia respects all the conditions, uh, uh, respect the agreement, uh, and, and uh, I believe uh, it would be important that the, the entry into Europe of these, uh, uh, entry into EU of, of uh, Kosovo and Serbia should be simultaneous because I would be concerned that if it is not simultaneous, let us speculate for a second, if Serbia was to join the EU before Kosovo, then the risk is that Serbia might do what Greece did for many, many years to North Macedonia, blocking Macedonia's way forward. So, so I think the agreement in place would be a good basis for normalizing relations, recognition of Kosovo status, and on the process of uh, eventual entry into the EU for the two countries. Let me say, in Kosovo it's a dilemma de facto and de jure. The plan doesn't see or foresee the de jure um, recognition of Kosovo by Serbia. Is this something that would, uh, for Kosovars, be a bit problem? Because we will have another period of time of dialogue between Serbia and Kosovo. Yeah, I mean, now we are getting into details of the talks which have been going on for some time. Uh, of course, I also think for far too long. Uh, and I also understand what the uh, uh, citizens of Kosovo feel about that very impatient. I fully understand, fully uh, understand that impatience. Unfortunately, and now I will sound like a diplomat that I am no longer, but still, these are, of course, very complex issues. Uh, and, and, and we are dealing with the situation where not one of the two parties to these talks are... Uh, strongly, strongly opposed to any kind of progress for Kosovo. And uh, the negotiators on the side of the EU and the US, who my impression is are working closely and very well together, they are, of course, looking for an acceptable compromise where none of the two parties will get everything, uh, but at least uh, there would be an agreement. What would be the compromise for Kosovo then? Well, the compromise would be normalization of relations, uh, uh, eventual uh, recognition as eventual, because I don't know when it would happen, recognition by Serbia of the status of Kosovo, and then an EU process moving forward uh, more decisively than what has been the case until now. And uh, Mr. Jesen Peterson, there is a great pressure on Kosovo to establish a association of municipalities with a Serb majority. First of all, I want to ask you, did the Kosovo Serbs or official Belgrade ever raise this issue with you in 2005, let me say? No, 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 because we were not that far. Uh, in fact, uh, I think in my talk with the Serb, Serb, uh, Serb, uh, Serb uh, government at the time, 
it was different. I mean, I was very worried uh, about the impact that the unrest in the north uh, and the very, very strong, uh, sometimes uh, uh, far too strong uh, actions taken by Kosovo Serbs up in the north, I was worried that that would impact on the many Kosovo Serbs who live in the eastern part of Kosovo, in the southern part of Kosovo, and whenever I met them, I mean, their wish was to li live a peaceful, quiet, normal life in Kosovo. But the uh, Serb uh, po uh, policy on the north, and that continues until today, they have taken the, Kos uh, the Kosovo Serbs as hostage to their own uh, Serb policies, and still I'm worried about how that impacts on all the Kosovo Serbs living and trying to live a peaceful, normal life in Kosovo. Is association a sort of compromise for Kosovo in this uh, uh, new proposal, German-French proposal? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, again, I have not been involved in the talks. All I know is what I'm reading and so forth and all that. But I want to draw a parallel uh, with my own country, Denmark. I mean, we have had, uh, ever since the Second World War, we have uh, Germans living in the southern part of Denmark and Danes living in the northern part of Germany, very, very few. But, but in order to make sure that uh, they were both recognized, minority rights and all that, there was an agreement uh, on a high degree of autonomy in certain areas, and that has worked very well, is still working very, very well. So I think you have to look forward on how, despite sort of any political views, uh, uh, objections uh, that groups of people may have, find a way where, uh, uh, where rights of, in this case, a minority, are recognized without in any way compromising on the independence and sovereignty of Kosovo. But there are two incompatible, let me say, attitudes on uh, the status of the association. One is Kosovo's side that would not like to see an association of uh, monoethnic, let me say. And Serbia wants the association with executive power. Are we seeing something that would be achieved during this uh, negotiation, so the dialogue on this matter? Is this association going to be a next autonomy for Kosovo's, uh, Kosovo uh, I, I, I don't know. I really have to be careful here now, because this is evidently today maybe, uh, maybe the most complex issue. And I know how many talks have been going on, how many efforts by the EU, the uh, US, uh, Germany, France, on the EU side, almost out in the front now, uh, efforts to find a solution. I don't think that is a solution that should and would in any way compromise uh, Kosovo's sovereignty, Kosovo's independence, and I think one should be extremely careful uh, using words like executive. We are not talking about anything executive. And let me ask you, uh, Mr. Soren Jesen Petersen, before leaving Kosovo in 2006, you told me Kosovo will become independent, but five yes. years after independence will be very difficult years. So I think yes. it's been fi 15 years. Uh, you call it difficult, all these 15 years? Well, first of all, I mean, during my two years in Kosovo, I never were, uh, used the word independence. Unfortunately, I was not mandated uh, to use that word. Uh, I was therefore also very careful and I never used it. But when I left Kosovo, I knew that the outcome would be independence. I knew it because, first of all, I had been for two years uh, working uh, in Kosovo in the region. I've been a lot of contacts with a contact group and all that. There was no doubt. There could be no other way. No other way. And that's also what I necessary way. There was only one way that was independence. Of course, uh, we all knew it would be difficult. We knew that Serbia would never accept this decision and that Serbia 
would be in a position to constantly try to destabilize Kosovo, and we have seen that, and that's continuing. We also know that being a very young democracy, without the experience of tens, even hundreds of years, starting as it were, from almost zero, I mean, a lot of preparations had been made, both by the Kosovo authorities, interim authorities, by UNMI, by friends, etc. But I mean, it was a new independent country. Uh, and then we knew uh, that the international community was not in total agreement on the outcome, that there were uh, opponents uh, who would not stop opposing this decision. So looking at all these things, uh, we knew it would be dif difficult. And that is again why, as now you and Kosovo get ready to celebrate 15 years, I think Kosovo can be proud of the way that they have managed this very difficult situation, uh, the way they have managed respect for democracies, etc. Uh, and I think it is amazing that Kosovo, despite all efforts to undermine Kosovo, uh, have remained calm and determined to move forward uh, within all the constraints. Let me conclude, Mr. Jesen Petersen. Um, so we should be optimistic that after 15 years of uh, Kosovo's declaration of independence, Kosovo Serbia will finally reach an agreement on uh, moving forward towards European Union. I'm sure that Kosovo and Kosovo's friends and others will find a way to move forward. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, and happy anniversary. Thank you very much.